Okay, welcome to making a lightsaber handle slash hilt. I put handle on there because, you know, some people don't know that, that a lightsaber handle is called a hilt. So, you know, it's a very simple saber. Uh, it's my first one ever. It's, it's uh, pretty expensive, actually, and I'm not even done with it. So, uh... I'm gonna need like two more parts. It's gonna cost me like an, another eleven bucks. It's the clip in the last uh, knitter. Cause I'm not gonna leave it like that. Um, it's very simple. Um, it's a uh, extension tube. It's twelve inch extension tube. It's uh, it's one and one fourth inch Intel or diameter. It said Intel on the price sticker, so you know. It's said that. It comes with, uh, it, it, now what you're looking for is it, the end piece is kind of thicker right here. It's kind of gets bigger a little bit. And there's a screw-on piece that should be on here. I, I'm going to show you that right now. Um, it's actually this. I think it's very nice. It kind of looks like Luke's pommel. I don't know. Pommel is also known as end cap. It does have a huge hole in it, so I'm going to fill that with something. Uh, uh, it also comes with this washer, and you just stick that inside. It's not the perfect sized washer, but it comes with the thing, so, you know, you get what you get. So you just, like, screw that on. It's, it's really easy, simple. If, if you put the O-rings on first, it's a lot easier to get on if you take it off. Because the O-rings kind of give a grip to put it on. So you can see there's like a the part right there. See it? It's kind of moving. I'll have to fix that. Uh, there we go. It's not moving. Now, when you buy the pipe, you want to make sure it's not rusted. You can put it up to like a lamp or something. Or just like the sun and you can see if it's rusted or not. So, uh, the O-rings were actually the most expensive thing for the Sabre. I bought four packs, packets. Uh, they come in this cool little box thingy. It's, uh, repair number 18 O-rings from Danco. It's, uh, one and three sixteenths of an inch OD times 15 sixteenths of an inch. ID times one eighth inch. So I bought four of those. They're two twenty seven each, so it's about ten bucks. I know all you guys are probably thinking it's like eight bucks, but if you add tax and the uh, change, it's uh, like ten or eleven bucks. So uh, and this is all you get. You get like a grip section. This is thirty five O rings right here. There are ten in a package. So that means I use four packages, four and a half packages right here, that's 35 O-rings, and, and it fits my hand pretty good though, and I spaced these out an inch by inch, and uh, these are only five, so it's five, it's, thir it's 40 O-rings that I got, and there's going to be an end piece here, so the O-ring will help with it, the O-rings will look cool, and I think it'll be a great part to like stop it from moving around if it does if it even does after I super glue it. Now you could also liquid steel the part that I'm going to get that I'm gonna get after. Uh, now all this these parts can be found at oh, uh, Home Depot except for one, but that's gonna be in episode or part two of the of the two part thing and. There's a sticker here. You can get all this stuff at Lowe's too, but it might be a little bit more expensive. Um, the only thing good about the Lowe's one is this uh, extension tube comes in a little package, a little like plastic carrying thing. So that way there's no sticker on it in the metal. Of course, I got this from Home Depot. It had a sticker on it. So I tried getting it off as clean as I could, but it didn't really work too good. Um... But the O-rings did cover up most of it, even though, uh, either way, I'm using the other side, and my hands, well, my hand, this hand is going to be, like, covering it up, and, uh, 
the button is simply just a hex nut and a button that you would put on like a coat or something. I found it. I found the hex nut in my in uh, just uh, one of my dad's old uh, uh, nail thing nail box, and I found uh, this button in my mom's uh, knitting or sewing kit. So, you know, just, just squeeze that on. Looks pretty nice. I'm gonna hot glue that and I'll be back with you guys in like a few seconds. Okay, hi. Uh, I'm back. I just hot glued the button. I think it looks a lot nicer than I thought it would. Uh, I hot glued it. If you guys actually um, try what I did, you can do uh, if you have a Dremel, you can, I don't know if I reminded you guys earlier, if you have a Dremel, you can just cut through it, go to a custom saber shop and order a, th a red thumb screw. It looks a lot more authentic, but I went with the cheap way with some miscellaneous hardware for free, you know, because I didn't want to use my PayPal money, or at least my my uh, dad's. <laughs> so, um, uh, I hot glued it. You can use the Dremel and get the authentic, or you could do what I did, but use liquid steel instead. Uh, whichever one you choose, it actually, it'll turn out great, either way. And, um, actually, you don't have to put the button there if you have, like, a, a bigger hand than me, because I I don't have a very big hand. Like, if you have a hand that goes from here to here, you could just put the button up there. But, you know, I grip it, like, here and here. So, that that placement of the button really works for me. So, you know. It, it's a nice saber. I think, uh, I, I definitely know what to use for the inside. And I can just get that right now. One. Just wait like a second. Okay. I'm back. And, uh, this is the part I'm going to use. It's a part. I bought an old, uh, Lightsaber toy is a uh, build your own lightsaber. It came with this. This is the only one I have left. I couldn't find the blue one or the red one anywhere. And I might paint this over. I don't know. I might just leave it like that. And I'll see if it fits. So if you guys might have one, you can just, you know, put it on. So, let's see here. Does it fit? No. Uh, so close. It doesn't fit. It doesn't go through. So, uh, I'll have to think of something. I I I'll definitely have to think, uh, for something. I, I don't really have anything else that I know of to for that, so, you know, oh well. And, uh, this was an expensive saber, if I said, I don't know if I said that before, but it is a very expensive saber. It's, uh, about 18... 17 or 18 bucks all together, and I'm not even finished with it, so I'm going to spend like another 11, like I said, on more parts for it, and uh, just, I, I want you guys to ask me, or I want to ask you guys, I'm going to buy a belt clip for this, it's a Belkin Universal belt clip for six six ninety eight, and I'm wondering should I put it on the o on the back of bottom of the O rings? Right. Should I put it on the bottom of the the side of the O rings or the side of the metal or chrome? Or do you, should I put it on the back of the O rings or the back of the chrome? So you can ple please comment on what you think. Chrome or O rings and right or back. So that's pretty much the saber for now. Uh, after like a week's worth of money making, uh, t like two fifty for mowing the yard, so it might take a little bit longer. 
Uh, uh, so it, it will take a little bit of time because I get charged half now. For some reason, my mom has this weird thing. She was watching Channel 11 News and she saw like an Elmo commercial. It's like, save half, spend half. So now she's making me do exactly that. And I probably have like 50 bucks in my savings account. And I got zero in my spending account. Well, I have two cents. I have two cents left over from making this lightsaber. And, uh, not even finished. So, you know. Might take a while. Because, let's see, I, I need $11. So it's going to be like two weeks, two or three weeks before I make the second part of the video. So please comment, subscribe. I don't really care if you do because I haven't made a YouTube video in like two years. So just comment on the belt clip thing if you please do that. Please comment on the belt clip. You can comment about anything else too. Um, and subscribe. Doesn't really matter. Hard rock